Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to All Trade Bait All the Time, part four, the final part of my loot that I grabbed when I was out at the National in Chicago. All right, so if you missed any of the previous, there are three previous videos. There's a part one that showed off my Brooklyn Dodgers. There's a part two that showed off my Johnny Padres collection and three that showed the LA Dodgers. This final part four is going to show off the players that I got from other teams. All right, let's begin. Let's get right to it. Here we go quickly. I always collect Hammer and Hank and it's hard to get Hank Aaron in good condition from his playing days at a good price and that's what i managed to find at the national so here's hank aaron in action 72 tops there you go running the bases after a home run and i was able to grab one more hank aaron pull this baby out there we go the new all-time home run king so there we go uh, pretty much I didn't run into any other Hank Aaron's in the bargain bins that I was shopping in. I could have had, there were uh, sure a lot of Hank Aaron's that were under those jeweler's boxes, but um, I didn't even look. You know, the National is so huge. There are so many tables and so many dealers that I just didn't even look at the cards in the jeweler boxes. Very quickly, my first day I looked. But all of those were priced well out of my uh, budget. Uh, all I did was strictly budget shop for cards, and I think I did all right. But I just didn't have time to look in all those other expensive cards. They were probably very pretty to look at, but I didn't have time because I wanted to see as much as I could while I was there. Even then, I did two days at the National, and even then, I didn't see everything. So that's how much there is to see. How about Bob Gibson? There you go. Classic pitcher. I've got to have Bob Gibson in my collection. So there you go. This is also, this is a pretty good card. It's a little faded in the back and the corners, corners aren't perfect. But again, great price. Forgot what I paid for Gibson though. Here we go. Um, how about, I, I made a mistake and I bought two of these. There were three cards that I bought dupes. Oops. And this is one of them. I bought a dupe of this. Fork and Knuckler. But I, I wanted it, you know. And Roy Face and um, Hoyt Wilhelm on one card. Really very nice. There was a Chewy card that was kind of beat up. I thought I threw it back and said I'll look for a better specimen, which this one is. But it turns out when I got home and I went over my cards and I sorted, turns out I bought the Chewy one also. I guess I couldn't really throw it back. Here we go. Who else have we got? I'm a fan of these dual player cards because it's a good way to get a couple of great players and sometimes a couple of Hall of Famers on one inexpensive card. All right. So we got Nellie Fox and the killer, Armin Killebrew. There you go. So I like this card very much too. And one more team card that I grabbed. Norm Cash and L. K-Line Bengal Belters. All right. There you go. Beautiful specimens. Great cards to add to my non-Dodgers binders. Who else have we got? How about a post card of L. K-Line? This one's pretty chewy. It's missing the corner down here. It's a little beat up. The corners are a little beat up. But hey, LK line, I think maybe I paid a buck for this. And so what are you going to do? You're going to walk away from this? Somebody did walk away from it, probably. And when I came along, I jumped on it. Sold. Here we go. Let's see who else have we got. How about Brooks Robinson? Speaking of Hall of Famers. Brooks Robinson, I'll take it. This was a dollar. Nelly Fox. Boom. I love these um, these um, sports all-stars, sports magazine. These are beautiful looking cards, so I grab those when I can. And hey, how about a football player? 
Chuck Foreman. I had to grab him. I'm a former uh, Minnesota Viking fan of this era of the Vikings. And Chuck Foreman, old number 44, as far as I was concerned, was the greatest running back in that era. So there you go. I loved him. Finally, last card of my non-Dodgers. I actually have one more, but this guy's going to have his own video, so I'll bounce that out later. Here we go. Bill Mazeroski. I collect Mazeroski. I've got a couple of his from his playing days, and I saw this one, so I jumped on it. Mazeroski, World Series hero, the only guy to ever hit a game-winning World Series ceiling game seven walk-off home run. Only guy to ever do it in the history of baseball. Bill Mazeroski. Boom. When you see him, you got to get his card. Am I right? All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for um, being with me. Hey, how about my uh, T-shirt? These are from my net juke shop at Etsy. There you go. Looks pretty good. They look pretty good. And down here, there's the image. All right? From the Tromperia series. So you can see how they look as a T-shirt. They look pretty good, I think. All right? So um, Etsy shop, net juke arts. T-shirts available there from the Tromperia series. All right. After that hype, I'll see you later. Peace.